Hello YouTube. Today we're going to learn how to take our Model 1911 apart with nothing more than the parts in the pistol itself and a spent piece of brass. But before we uh, start, we want to take and make sure that we have nothing in our pistol and we can see here that it is empty. We'll go ahead and take our magazine out and nothing in the chamber. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and get started by just doing what's normally the first step in a field strip, which would be to remove our recoil spring plunger there, and then slide our slide back, of course, and we'll get our slide stop out. We got the top part of the pistol apart pretty easy. And now that we have it apart, we'll go ahead and we'll start to take our frame apart here. Now we have a, a convex shape here on our screws, and then the bullet casing itself, the lip of the bullet, will take and we can start to turn our screws out like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut, and I'll come back when I have these finished being taken out. Okay, now that we have the uh, grip panels off, we'll go ahead and take our thumb safety out. And now we can go ahead and get our plungers out with a little bit of work. Get spoiled using real tools. Okay, there we go. Now we can go ahead and use the slide stop to push. Well, let's see here. We'll go like that and we'll push out our hammer pin. And now we'll use our plunger. Okay, now well, we have our hammer out. Now we can use our plunger to push out our sear. Okay, that's out now. And now that we have the hammer strut and the pressure off, we can take and use the hammer strut to push out our mainspring housing pin. And now that's out. We can go ahead and finish disassembling our frame. And let's see here. Now we have, let's see, where'd our spring go? Now our spring here has the uh, hook on the very top of it. Let's see if I can bring that up so you can see it. Now that can be used to take and turn the uh, magazine release so we can get that out and now we have our trigger out and now that we have that out we can also use our hammer strut again to push down our firing pin and then take and pull the rest of our slide apart and let's see here we can use that to help get the slide or the uh, extractor started and now we have our slide completely apart our frame completely apart and the only thing left that we have to do is take our mainspring housing apart and we can do that by simply taking and this is a little bit trickier of a move but we can take and use the thumb safety to take pressure off of our mainspring and then our plunger to help start the mainspring out when this is pushed down. Now this is takes a little bit of hand strength to be able to do this. We'll push that down and see if we can get it started. If I have it started enough to get a grip on the retaining pin. We'll see here. Pretty tricky little move. Oh, I pushed it back in, darn it. 
Alright, we'll try it one more time here, see if we can get it. And there it started. Let's see if I can finish getting it the rest of the way out. Ta-da! There it is. All right, complete disassembly. Oh, one, one other thing. We we'll want to go ahead and take our magazine apart here. And we'll just go ahead, what will we use here? We can use our extractor to push it down. Put our hammer strut in there. Oh, one too many. And now, we can go ahead and use our extractor to help get our magazine apart. So there we go. 100% stripped using nothing more than a spent shell and the parts of the pistol itself. All right, uh, now I got to put it back together. All right, hey, thanks for tuning in and watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this short video. And that's how you can take your model 1911 apart very easily. All right, thanks for tuning in and watching. Have a great day.